you know the best way to approach this? Because remember when I did it, I had a really, it took me forever to get the right layout and the right distances and stuff so that I didn't get, I didn't lose some in like still pockets of water. It was a pain. I mean, I'm I relatively to small, so I wanted to have it every one. Right, but I want to make it look nice too. Yeah, I just agree. the tricky part. I normally just hide mine behind walls and then just have you just open a chest and it's just constantly filling with food and stuff. Well, this is a much bigger vein than I anticipated. I can probably. Let's see. Like, we don't have the redstone and stuff to do this right now, so really, if we could just plant some stuff right now, that'll be good enough. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to do over here for just the um, sugar cane. Definitely start planting sugar cane so we can get the table. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, we need just to go a place just to grind out a bunch of dirt and cobble. I have a stack and a half of dirt or so. Yeah, well you're yeah, you're cutting some out because you're going down. I'm filling in on this side. Ooh, can I take a hook? Can I take your hoe really quick? I don't need it for the sugar cane. Yeah. Now if I test and something lands, say, like, here, does it flow all the way down or does it get stuck in that deep pit? Nope, it goes all the way. Yeah, it doesn't get stuck in the deep pit. Alright, it's getting dark, we should go sleep this time. Okay. Can you play sugarcane next to moving water? Yes. As long as it's just next to water. Okay. Sweet. Well, let me plant this so this can get a jump start on growing. It needs to be on grass. Can you really turn this wall into an actual wall? And just have the stone be above us. I think I might do that. I got a Skype message. Yeah, that's so. what I was saying. Or intending. Oh my gosh, what are they doing outside? I'm concerned for my safety right now. Why are you in my chest, boy? I was giving you stuff. Um, I heard some shenanigans going on in Avius about your, uh, moderate, current moderators. What do you mean? Um, Bran and Scott teleported Ch uh, Quinn to 10,000, 10,000, and proceeded to trap him and then kill him and burn him multiple times, mm. and teleport him back. We did all sorts of that stuff to him last time. He doesn't actually play the server, he just gets on to get messed with. <laughs> he stopped playing the server when he did, thought it would be a good idea to give Bran all of his money and everything he owns. He was like, well, I, I can't get past Miner because I'm too lazy. So I'm just going to give Bran all my money so I get permission to Bran's town so I don't have to do anything anymore. And I get free items. <laughs> Then he's not really playing Avius, and he wants to play Avius. So then he gets he like this horrible, like, just paradox. It just loops. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna oh, fill I this in even now. Step. Because my the sugar cane area is gonna have to be very limited, because. You, right, the best way to destroy sugarcane is to have a piston come out and punch it on the second high block, correct? Yes. And you can't use bone meal on sugarcane. So this, what I'm going to have to do is do a very long sugarcane trench. But 
in this wall, I'm just going to have to have a bunch of pistons. And it's going to have to be very one-sided unless I built another physical wall on the other side. Which yep. I could do. It should probably work the best. Oops. Oh, you're good. Okay. It, it created a source block there somehow. <laughs> somehow. No Minecraft is things. One, please, one. Yes, hide the water. Good, very good. I'm gonna plant some seeds. Okay, I'm go good. for it. <laughs> Um, I think this natural cave system, wow, this will be perfect to have things flow into and then have it, like, travel back in. We can close this off. Yeah. And have this, let me see if how easily this goes up to our place. Does this go to our place? I think it does. I don't think it goes all the way up. Okay, it doesn't, but... It does, it's, it is nice. But, I'm going to make it go all the way up. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, between the two recording sessions I had, I had like 300 gigabytes of just. I had two video files each that were like 150 to 80 gigabytes Jeez. on my computer. It was a pain to break it up to put it into videos, but I just decided to do it and not be lazy. And then I, up, I did what you did, I uploaded them all at once. So the college was probably like, what is this kid doing? He's uploading gigabytes of HD video to the internet. He must be pirating. No, but I just did them all on schedule upload, which I always forget I have and how amazing it is. The schedule can... upload. Oh, keep going. Yeah, because like literally like Thursday I did it and like I haven't had to do any video stuff for the next couple days. Okay. The schedule upload thing derped for me, so just kept them as private. Maybe I hit the wrong button, so I had to actually go up and public them. But I think I'm gonna do that next time this time again because that was so nice all i had to do was hit one button yeah i should check like i know the scheduling ones work because i i have the schedule one also sent out the tweet when it gets published so i do know like if i see the tweet like i i've just sent a tweet and then i know it got published yeah and you just got to make sure you check the date right in the time because in the time zone because i can get weird sometimes yeah all right i need to find out where this goes so i'm going to dig because this okay so we have our little platform with the beds mm -hmm. i'm imagining you're imagining this the same way and that if we build it's going to be back into the hillside so if we had the yes. big kitchen it would be back into the wall from this room correct would open or into another one. i was actually going to open that into like a hallway and have bunches of rooms like okay. a bunch of the kitchen so like i'm just going to dig into this wall and try and find us the place I think we should just replace this entire wall at this block with, like, stone brick or something. Yeah, we should at some point. But, yeah, we really should. But I'm going to see if I can get this to be... Actually... I'll start on up, that. Are you up here? Can you stand in here. that tunnel and let me go down there and then see where... Sure. Oh. Let me see where it comes up to. Because it's actually kind of perfect. Oops. If it works. la do do Oh wow, that was really close. Oh here, what? Do you see me? Yeah. Oh hey. You see me? Are you in the hallway? Hello. Okay. In that case. It's actually really close to your bed. Yeah. Well, I built a little bit of a tunnel. So this is like the last main... Oh no, it goes up here. So then let me cut... Let me cut over from here where this coal vein was. And we won't dig that way. So if you wanted to keep digging that tunnel... Keep digging that tunnel back. Okay. And then start going down just a bit. starter tunnel here I bet you we could make it even better honestly if you step that straight down let me see oh sweet I mean you could make that staircase straight down 
to save distance. I don't know if it'll actually be steep enough. It might overshoot it. But nonetheless, there's that. It won't grow. I want to grow. The sugar cane? Uh huh. Takes a while. Alright, I'm gonna go mine. I'll leave you to work I'll on the farms. I'll build the base. Yeah, the base and or the farms. The farms. Because we need to get more redstone. We have 40 bricks. We have one chicken. We need to get animals too. I've got an egg for him, so if we get a bunch of eggs, we could probably make some more. Yeah, the only thing. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks perfect. Yeah, fill that in. Leave this door up here for now, because this goes to the top of the mountain. Yeah. But, um. We'll fix that. Way to the top of the mountain later. Yeah. And I think I kind of explained what we could do with the roof. The ceiling, rather. Yeah. Just mirror this, like, on the other side, and then, like, in the middle, just have it be, like... I might just higher. leave it, kind of. Or yeah, have it or come out of it. Actually, if you leave it, that might actually be kind of cool. Maybe mirror yeah. on the other side, but then have it kind of natural in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna so. mirror it over here. Yeah, that does go to my bed. That's kind of scary. Do put stone there, so I don't get, like, eaten in the night. this away put this away I'll bring the diamond one just in case I run into obsidian because I do have a water bucket with me and a shadow turn this should okay. be food. let me bring some up my, my pork chops I have 39 pork chops if you need any I got nine steak and like 10 pork chops that'll be good I'm gonna get us some wheat though Fixes. And of course, I harvested two fully grown wheat plants and I didn't get a single seed. Does that <laughs> make sense? Right? RNGs. So that just basically put us negative. Got two pieces of wheat though, but that's completely pointless. Alright, to the caves. You can breed a cow and get the achievement. That's true, I can do that. So where did you go? Should I go to a different place? Um, or is there lots in your place? Find a cave, wherever. Okay, so then I will go find a normal cave. And perfect! Hopefully I can get underground before the sun sets, and we can enjoy some lovely Minecraft music. Oh yeah, somebody did ask. They wanted to see the new um, granites and stuff in default, and I'll show that probably at the end or later in the video. Hey, hey, don't, don't. Make them come watch my videos. Are you in default? Uh, I'm in Faithful, but those are in default. Oh, they are? Yeah. It, okay. Faithful is just 32 by 32 normal Minecraft. Okay, so go check out Skate. Go check out my point. channel. You can see what the um, new stones and stuff look like in the new texture pack, because I won't show you then, because go watch this video. That was me banging my leg. Oh, I thought you were going to say that was you banging. I was like, okay. School Mitch, but it was your leg against the table, so I guess that's acceptable. And it's dark, and I haven't found a cave. But normal forests I have found are like the best for normal, for natural caves. Hey, look, there's one. But these are one of the horrible ones that, like, when you fall in them, it's always a dead end, and it's a pain to get out. You know what? Gosh dang it! I put that block too. I forgot. You know what I forgot? Torches. Yep. Did you bring wood on you? Nope. Oh have, gosh, that's terrible. You're in a forest biome. I, I know, I'm already in the cave. I'm seeing if the cave is worth it. It just keeps going. But I know as soon as I go up, I'll come back down, and the next corner is going to be where it ends. 
Sorry, you guys can't see anything. That does look to be the case. I hear zombies. Oh my gosh, nope, it's a full cave system. Alright, back to the surface. I hear so many. I have to go up to the surface in the night. Ooh. Hey guys, I recommend using your inventory like mine. Because then you'll never have to worry about anything. Look, Void. Look at all these items. You know one thing I used to do on Elden? One on, It was on the map with Caver. I killed a person. <coughs> Gosh that? darn it, Soccer Ninja. Stop sneezing. But bless you. But anyways, I killed a person. This is like when potions were like new. The very end of the map. They had, um... <sighs> Sorry. He had, he had a splash potion of harming on him, and I assumed that as soon as you hit it, it would just cause instant damage. And, you know, that was back in the Mac where I was still kind of like a peasant, and I was traveling between towns a lot, and back when PvP was a big part of the server. And I remember somebody tried to attack me, so I killed them, and I had that one potion, and I had it for like months. I keep it in my inventory, because I was like, I can throw this at somebody if something ever goes crazy, you know? And that was something that, for the longest time, I always made and kept Splash Potions of Harmony. Because you could just throw, like, three of those at them and hit them once, and they'd be dead. You know, I would always end up... Diamond armor, guys. Yeah, exactly. But I would always end up harming myself, too, usually, with that. Yeah, you have to be... It's not a very long range. Yeah. But, um, I always would carry that in one of my pockets down there. And I kept... Like, for a while, when I was playing games, I was like, what did I always have? I know I had this nice order. And then I was like, oh, that was it. It was... The Splash Potion of Harming 2, of Instant Damage, I think was what it was called. Yeah, Instant Damage. Alright, now let's light this back up. When I go mining, or when I try to mine, and I'm doing it on a map, like a server, like a single player, where I can't just go into the cave and teleport out, I put my torches on the left side, because I go to like the boating rules, you know, red, right, returning. Mm -hmm. That's what I think of. So if I'm, if it's on my right... Like the torch, like the orange red torch is on my right, then I'm returning, which means that that's the way I came down. And then I put arrows at any big intersections, because you can get very lost. And sometimes you get into this horrible position where you realize that you broke your pickaxe, so you can't dig yourself out, so you have to walk. That's bad. That's why you always keep planks in your inventory. Always. Yep. I'm assuming we need coal because we might need to make a bunch of stone. Yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and gather all the coal I see. Up into a point. <laughs> and I keep thinking this is gravel that's going to fall on my head, but this is the new rock. Oh my gosh, this vein is massive. Let's see... Wow, that was more than a half a stack of coal from that no, one. guys, does that look fine? Eh. We'll leave it for now. Let's see what you think. It's ugly. <laughs> I can already sense it. It's ugly. <coughs> no, no, no. This makes it look more like it's supporting it. It's a little more depth. I'm all for that. Do you see the supports they did with the hoppers that are really cool? Which we, we will use uh, once we have the resources I'm... to do that. Dang it, Michael. I... <sighs> what? I was going to surprise you. Oh, Xerthic did those in the Beta Avius map in the main the spawn colony that we had. He did that to hold the walkways that went across the giant opening. It was really, really neat. And I was about to do that. And you're gonna come back, and you're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, have, I remember this." Hoppers. From... Don't you need quartz for hoppers? And no, no, you need five pieces of iron in the chest. Oh, uh, it's the solar panels you need quartz to make. Yeah, and the comparators. But so that we, I guess used... we could put it on a cycle where it harvests the crops like every like two day cycles. Can you? Yeah. Can you set yeah. it so that it's not just every day it gets tripped, but like. Of course. You could make it where it's like every like third time it senses light, it harvests. Yep. Have to add wow. a counter. Oh, what's that? what's what's with the counter? How do you do that? Do you use the redstone comparator it, or whatever. It's no, it, it's just you do some things with 
you just make like three switches and then it switches one and then when that switch gets tripped it makes it so it doesn't trip that one it trips the next one and then you do something like that and then it resets one so it gets a tiny bit complicated but you can do it pretty you, you, you can do that but yes i kind of i understand from a coding standpoint what you were doing but i couldn't actually build it which is my struggle with everything in computer science. I'm like, well, I need to tell the computer to do this and do this, and I know you can use those commands to do it, but I don't know how to actually like piece it together. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is why it's not working. I need to tell the computer to do this instead of this. How I tell it to do that, I have no idea. Yeah, well, then I, I just mess around and figure it out, because I have a lot of fun doing that. But then... I'm like, well, this is like, this takes up a lot of space and resources, and I look online and they have it perfect in like a quarter of a tenth of the space, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Can we, can we please have a room that's just all gold? Just a giant gold block vault. We can have an iron, diamond, and gold vault. Just fill it with blocks. You know? Yeah, we're not gonna need that much. Except, well, we're probably not gonna have the iron bolt. I don't know. Because I know when I... we had that last snapshot, even though I wouldn't have used my iron, I literally had like 300 iron blocks, but I used it to make a giant pyramid for the. Thing. Yeah, but this time we're gonna use it to make automatic stuff. Oh. I've already used up, like, tw yeah, 20 stacks of iron just to make the storage shelter so far. <laughs> and the my furnace thing, which is pretty much done. I'm gonna need you to, there's a mod to do that for me. Okay, Wait, we're gonna see what, if this what about a mod? I'm sorry, I'm talking about Avius. Oh. <gasps> Guess what? What? I intersected with yours. Did you get near a mine shaft? I think I might have, and then I stopped. Or something I think like I see that. a mine shaft down there. Yes, it looks like the end of your road. Okay, I'll save this for later. I need to go back oh, yeah, to my that's other what area. Do. There's not very many mobs down here at all, though. Hopefully, this is the end of the road. Yep. Hmm. I guess I should go deeper. I'm going. I'm just clearing this cave out because we kind of need every resource right now. Nah. I'm not just going straight for the good stuff. But I think I'm getting to the point now where I could, at least for this mining trip, come back and do some of the upper caves each time. You know? Yep. Yep. Because uh, I got over two stacks of coal already, so this will be good. And my iron broke. So to the diamond. I haven't used a diamond pickaxe since the days where I had to, like, two Elden maps ago, where I had to actually make money. It wasn't just building with it. Because you know how that server went. I was making money for the first town where I was mining a crap ton and doing stuff. And then, like, after that, the map just reset so much that I was just constantly was building. Yep. Because they just reset, 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 reset. New map, new problem. I don't like my town. Let's remake a new one. That got really annoying. Yeah. All right. After I finish this, I'm going to pick up where you left off. And then... Oh, no. It's the surface. Let me see where this is. I can mark this. I can come back to this. I can do your area another time because it'll be really easy to get to it. And I'll go back into mine. It's probably a fair bet, right? Yeah. But see, then this is also where my system breaks down, because see, you'll go in and they'll be on your right. And like, see, I Or just... you'll hit my cave where I have no system for torches. Um... Do you have a sign? Like, are you with the chests? Yeah, I am. Could you plop a sign down with the coordinates negative 540? Sure. Oh, hey, what's the matter?